Good morning, so I'm in the small village of Ustrid Velta today, I think it's pronounced that, where there's a pub, there's a post office here, and there's a beautiful old church called St Mary's. Just had a look inside, it's stunning. Absolutely beautiful in there, so peaceful. Lovely place. And um, so it's, it's very British feeling, this. Um, oh, and there's a red phone box as well. It's about, yeah, the, those four British icons all in one place and there's hardly any houses, a few farms. So this is famed for the waterfall um, country where you've got the four waterfalls to walk. We're not doing that one today, but we're gonna go up onto the limestone moorland there, the limestone country, and explore there. The um, main hill up there is called Carni Gwynion, I think it's pronounced. So that's the one. It's working our way up through the sheep fields which is an obligatory step to any Brecon Beacons walk, or most of them. Villages down here. There's a brilliant view here of this ridge here. And it's kind of a rocky limestone kind of moorland called Gwain Kefina Garig, something like that. Can't pronounce it. But this, this would be a brilliant walk all the way up onto here and beyond. Looks quite sort of rugged. So I'm definitely going to do that one. I'm just sort of seeing if I can plot route up there because it's not, it's non-pathed looking at it. This is lovely so far. Look at this, tunnel of blossomed bushes. Very spring-like. This is a perfect spring edging on summer's day. Fairly hot, a quite comfortable temperature. It's really enjoyable so far. It's a, a pleasure walk so far, rather than anything mega, particularly challenging. Very nice. And here we are, up onto the hillside. Limestone country. <laughs> it's everywhere. Literally like a sea of limestone scattered rock on the hillside. And no heather, it's just short grass. You can just roam, the walk is paradise. Just roam around wherever you want, it's just easy walking. So nice. The views are really getting good as well. Really, really cool. This goes on forever limestone field. It's what I love about Brecon Beacons is it's so diverse. You've got limestone moorland, moorland with thick heather and sort of a tussock grass, crags, forest, waterfalls, mountains, hills. Probably forgetting forgetting some stuff as well. Valleys, it's absolutely beautiful. It's got every, well, the main types of, and long ridges as well. It's got so much to offer. This is non-touristy here, but I've driven about an hour and 15 to get here. And it is so worth it. Not somewhere most people think of going, but it's so worth it. Oh, this is really special. It looks much more reminiscent of the Peak District with all this limestone. Let's have a quick look up, up here. This is Carni Gwynion, 398, something like that. a sort of lesser summit. Brilliant views towards Van Ness. Van Dela and Van Vauer, lovely views actually. Smashing. So we've dipped down into the valley moorland. I'm going to try and find a way over the wall up onto here where it looks shorter 
and then the, the main cairn is just up there, the sort of highest point. So that's the plan. A little bit of a water feature there. Such pleasant weather. Really, really nice, not too hot. We just had a week in Greece um, of um, all you can eat, all inclusive food and drinks. So that's definitely taken a, a knock on my fitness. So, yeah, not recommended if you're uh, trying to keep fit, but it's nice to have a break. Oh, right, I'm gonna trudge up here. This is the Summit Rocks, 416 metres, which is probably the true top of Car Carnai Gwynion, as you can see here. God, it's really hot now, it's roasting. Very good views, especially to the north. Amazing. I'm gonna spin around now and um, venture on a, a circular walk now. It's very, very hot now. It's roasting. So, um, I'd always planned to come here because the hill here is on my list of ones to do, but it was right down the bottom of the list. But thanks to, there's a brilliant channel uh, run by Alan called um, Coles Corner Walking, Talking and Photography. And he come up here, posted a video, it looks so cool. Um, so shout out to him. I saw that and thought, yeah, I want to go there. His channel is really good if you like Brecon Beacon walking. Certainly if you like photography. His photography is really good. It's a lot better than mine. And um, it's also really good for getting off the tourist trail. I mean, we all do the tourist ones because we know, we know them, we love them. But um, me and there's a few others that I follow as well, that, that regularly get off the tourist trail and it, it's really good. And he's one of them. So there's a, um, a tree up here embedded in limestone rock, which I think is that one. I've missed it. Couldn't see it. I thought I saw it on the way down and it was a bit of too long of detour. Um, and it, it makes a really good photograph. I'll see if I can get a stock images from Google to put up. Um, when Alan came up here, he's done some brilliant photography of that tree. It looks so cool. Uh, I'm not a photography channel, I'm hill walking, so I don't need to go there. But it would have been nice to have found it, but I think by the time I saw it, it was too late. So there you go, it doesn't matter. Right, somewhere in this direction is, is the way back. Uh, it's been a nice first part of the walk, this. I'm gonna do a couple of other bits today. I'll see you in a minute and get back down to the village. So I've had a brief lunch break and um, swung round off the road from the village and up through this wood and we're up, up to the second hill summit today called Cot, Cot Gay Plas Darren, something like that. I'll have to have a look. <laughs> a very strange name if you're English speaking. All right. head on through here and then hopefully I'm hoping that the area will open up on the left there and I'll be able to find a way to the top off path the real slog up through that wooden kind of marshland but nice views opening up and we're gonna cross this marsh here and then up the top is up there somewhere catching a bit Okay, this is the top. That's Koida Rider, I think it's pronounced. Huge forest area. And obscured a bit by these trees. There's another limestone summit. Views of Van Neth. And um, the surrounding ridge lines. So, less interesting than the other ones but another one ticked off. And a bit of good exercise coming up here. So there's Code Gay Plas Sidarin. This one done, 
and head down. So we reached another phone box. I've driven down the road just a couple of minutes. I've just popped into this charming little shop, which is so old fashioned. It was so cool. And um, replenished fluids. The guy there was really, really friendly, but um, definitely the strongest Welsh accent I've ever heard, which is brilliant. It's just a pleasure to listen to. So I'm going to head on to our third and final summit, which is down this road. Okay, so we're here. This is Common Aros. Common Aros, and there's a cairn here, which is cool. It's a fairly uninteresting summit, given that it's in a sheep field. But it's got good views of Rigos Mountain in the distance. And the, this is the forest where the waterfall country is. Astrid Velta waterfalls, the four falls. And then the, the sort of fat fans there across in the distance. And the right rider forest, I think it's called. Nice. Another one done. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I'm going to get back to the car. I bet no one's walked this one. <laughs> but it's official summit on the map, so it's named. It's got an altitude. So um, uh, it's been a good day to tick a few off and I've been, really enjoyed it. I'm not doing this just as a kind of, you know, doing it for the sake of it. I'm really enjoying it. It's just... I've hardly seen anyone all day. It's lovely. Really good views. Cracking.